Welcome to this episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp, the voice note show that investigates the crap shared in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Andesua May from podcasting company, Volume. And I'm Taryn Curry from Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. Today we have four viral claims to debunk. Does this photo show a crumbling bridge support in 2023 in South Africa? Can Gamora HIV cure kits cure HIV AIDS? Can taking any medication before an HIV test mask a positive status? And will people vaccinated against COVID-19 develop AIDS? The boys are looking for metal, begins our first claim circulating in South Africa in February 2023. While our leaders are playing politics, the country is being dismantled. Bit by bit, by foreigners, it continues. The post includes a photo of what appears to be the damaged concrete support for a bridge, with its metal rods exposed. This is one of those claims where the picture is real, but the caption takes it out of context. So where and when is the photo really from? A Google Lens search quickly revealed that the photo was not taken in South Africa or elsewhere in Africa. It shows the crumbling support of a bridge in Japan, almost two decades earlier than claimed. The photo originally appeared in a 2005 report published by the Earthquake Engineering Research Institute, showing the effects of an earthquake that hit the Niigata Prefecture in Japan in late October 2004. The claim is crap. Next is a widely shared claim promoting the Gamora HIV cure kit. This is a supposed cure for the infection by HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, and AIDS, acquired human immunodeficiency syndrome, a life-threatening disease caused by the virus. Africa Check has already debunked other false claims that there is a cure for HIV. But does the Gamora HIV cure kit really work? In short, no. There is currently no cure for HIV or AIDS. But HIV is now a chronic health condition that can be managed with antiretroviral therapy drugs, known as ARVs. That's right. Let's break down the facts. In 2018, an Israeli-based pharma company called Zion Medical released a statement claiming they had found a potential HIV cure. In the statement, Zion Medical claimed that the results of the first clinical trial of HIV drug Gamora had eliminated up to 99% of the HIV virus within four weeks of treatment. But the study had only trialed nine HIV-infected people. It took place at a military hospital in Entebbe, Uganda. But the trial was not registered with Uganda's National Drug Authority, or NDA. More than this, there was no such trial registered in Entebbe at all. There is also no evidence that the trial has been either presented at a scientific conference or been published in a peer-reviewed journal. This claim is crap. False claims about HIV cures can be dangerous, causing false hope, psychological trauma, and the abandonment of medically sound treatment. We have another HIV claim coming your way. In a widely shared video, a man makes an astonishing claim that people with HIV can keep their positive status undetected when tested by simply taking painkillers like Panadol, a brand of paracetamol, before the test. He says this is a new trick used by people with HIV who take the test, knowing it will come back negative, in order to have unprotected sex and infect their partners. Yikes. This must be crap. It's crap. HIV can be detected by various tests that look for the presence of HIV antibodies, antigens, or genetic material in a person's blood, saliva, or urine. The main situation in which HIV may not be detected is soon after infection. It can take several weeks or even months for antibodies to appear in the blood after a person has been infected with HIV. Therefore, the test may need to be repeated after a certain period of time has passed, to confirm a negative result. If a person with HIV takes antiretroviral medication for a period of time as prescribed by their doctor, the amount of HIV virus in their blood will be significantly reduced, making them much less likely to transmit the virus. 
However, tests such as the Western blot test can still detect the presence of HIV antibodies. Last up for today is a screenshot of an article headline posted on social media that claims a large number of people who have been vaccinated against the coronavirus have developed AIDS. It says that this bombshell was announced by the German government, but was it really? No. The claim originates from a site known to spread disinformation, News Punch. Previously, your Newswire. The News Punch article pointed to a weekly report update of COVID-19 cases in Germany, published by its public health organization, the Robert Koch Institute, or RKI, in December 2021. Newspunch claimed the report showed that among these cases, most of the individuals who had been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 would develop full-blown vaccine-induced acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, by the end of the month, and that the immune systems of the fully vaccinated had already degraded to an average of minus 87%. But of course, there is no mention in the RKI report of any of this. Medical experts have repeatedly confirmed that there is no such condition as AIDS acquired through COVID-19 vaccination. The claim is crap. That's all the time we have for today. Now you know what's crap and what's not. Your friends and family can sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact in your phone and send us a message. You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts, from Apple to Spotify. If you listen there, you'll find show notes and a link to the fact checks. Remember that you can send us a WhatsApp message, a picture, video link, or voice note that you need fact checked. Just forward them to us on WhatsApp. Our theme song is composed by John Bartman. I'm Andesua May. And I'm Taryn Khoury. Bye for now. Volume.